Hello guys, I am Salim Heather from SHK Excel World and we are going on with the series that Excel can think like humans. In this series we have learned the if formula in a very creative way. Today we are going to implement that if formula in a little bit more complex situation whereby we do not get the results as required by using a simple if formula. If you want to follow along download the file from the link below in the description to date we have used a single logic in a logical test of if formula but what if there are more than one logics to get a correct answer so the answer is again the if formula to demonstrate this i have created this sheet which contains the monthly salary of a person number of months in a year and the annual salary of the person so we know that income tax is calculated on annual salary of a particular employee. So for that, this is the annual salary. And we also know that the tax rates are always given in slabs. So these are all hypothetical figures, including the tax rate. So let us start with this. In the tax column, we are going to write if formula and see what happens equal to if so the logic is if your salary is greater than the first slab, it should use 2% the tax rate. And if your salary is greater than 800,000, it should use 7% as a tax rate and so on. So I'm going to write if the salary, which is C8, is greater than any amount given in B12. So because we want to copy this to the below cells, we will have to anchor it full anchor it because this is the only cell we are going to refer to from above if c8 is greater than so if c8 is greater than b12 or your salary is greater than the tax lab we should multiply the annual salary again freeze it by pressing f4 multiply your salary with the tax rate and if your salary is not greater than this we should get a zero value here and bracket close press enter so what if we copy this to the cells below so this is not the answer we require so our salary cannot fall in two slabs at the same time so what if i change this to 200000 so now it is saying that i am also giving tax at 2% at 7% and at 10% so the simple if formula is not working here we have to do something different to take you stepwise i have created two columns logic one and logic two the moment where both the logics strand true that will be our slab if your salary is greater than 800000 the tax rate goes to 7% so if it is up to 800000 it will still remain up to 2% so these are two logics the first logic is equal to is your salary which is c8 Again, we have to freeze this, is greater than the current slab, which is the first logic, press enter. It says that yes, it is true, but is it equal to or less than the next one, equal to salary F4 is less than or even equal to 800,000. So this is false. We can copy this to the cells below and see where the logic stands true for both the cases. So this is the slab where both the logics are true. Let us see why. Because our salary which is 2.4 million is greater than 1.2 million. Yes, 10% should be applied. But it is up to 4 million or less than 4 million. Yes, it should again be 10%. So this is the only slab which is applicable to our annual salary. We can move on to another logical formula, which is called AND formula. So the AND formula has a very simple syntax. It only takes the logical part of the IF formula. And if all the logics are true, it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. We go to our sheet. Instead of calculating two separate logics, we are going to calculate both the logics in a single formula using and equal to and bracket or salary again freeze it is greater than this 
and or salary F4 is less than equal to the next amount in the tax lab. Press enter. And quite rightly, in the third slab, it has given the answer true that both the logics are true. We can change the salary to check whether this is dynamic or not. So yes, so let us change our formula for tax here. We just have to copy this complete formula and paste this one in the area of logical test of if formula. Enter. Just copy this to the cells below and correctly it has ignored the first slab and calculated tax in the second slab. Let us change the figures. It should automatically move into the next slabs. Yes, it is. Try a bigger figure. Once our salary exceeds the maximum slab, it does not calculate the accurate figure. The reason is that there is nothing beyond that. For the maximum slab, we can write the old formula here if our salary is greater than 8 million it should multiply our salary with the maximum tax rate otherwise it should return zero hope you have liked this video thanks for watching and do subscribe to my channel shk excel board